Uh, now we are all here to welcome uh, the new guest of Boazici Chronicles, uh, which is uh, collaboratively organized with uh, Take Fan Holding. Uh, and now Saipe, who is the uh, regard, who is regarding as the pioneer of the land art, <laughs> he is now with us. And uh, I'm going to the host of today's talk. Uh, my artist name is No More Lies. Uh, maybe some of them uh, may know my name uh, because I have some paintings uh, on the wall, dog paintings, uh, just uh, next to the Boazic University metro station. Yes, uh, I'm a street artist and I know I'm a little bit older than uh, the stereotype of street artists, but it's another uh, topic for the Boazic Chronicles. Uh, me and the, all the street artists, almost all the street artists, are preferred to be in the cities for their arts. Uh, suburbs, city walls, uh, because we are like the uh, pigeons or cats and dogs in the cities, we need people and crowd. But Saip choose to be in the rural side of the uh, world, he chose to be on the uh, grassy hills of the mountains and to be on the next to a lake, incredible lake. And he did some gigantic uh, drawings. Uh, we can uh, say, uh, what's the name of that painting? You, how do you call them? Uh, fresco, fresco yes, is sometimes, but it's hard because you know, fresco is mean uh, from Italian guys uh, uh, doing on the walls. Actually, yes, but so you are uh, making it on the ground. Then. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't have any any words to. Let, let's say fresco. Again. <laughs> okay. But fresco is okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> he made some frescoes on the rural side of the world, but uh, and then he took the attention of the art scene. And then he decided to carry his arts into the city centers, uh, also in the grassy areas, huge parks or the gardens of the big buildings or uh, some strange areas like in Istanbul, and took the attention of the old world. We can say that because the Forbes choose you, not make that gestures, uh, choose him as uh, one of the most influential uh, cultural character of the world under the 30 years old. And they put him in the 30 under 30 list and this is an honor for you, I think, and this is also an honor to host you in here. Thank you. Uh, this, this is a, a small uh, entrance for your past. But now you are here for the, your uh, eight, I think, uh, eight uh, Beyond Wall series, it's eight tier, we can say, in Istanbul. Uh, you did three giant uh, paintings. Cool. Yeah, definitely giant, <laughs> bigger than my <laughs> uh, pieces. Uh, three uh, giant frescoes, one of them is on the Beykoz middle, the other one on a floating platform on the Halic, Halic uh, yeah. Golden Horn, and the other one is on the grass of one of the biggest uh, and best universities in Turkey, Boğaziçi Universities, Üstün uh, uh, Ergüder Square, but uh, he made it with all, we can say that I think homemade Paint. We can say that. To yeah, uh, totally biodegradable. That's why we, we can feel it's not a danger for our grass. It's gonna be disappear <laughs> in five or six days, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That, that's the old things I can say briefly. But uh, first of all, I think we we can see the video about what you are doing and. Uh, after that, can you explain what are you doing, how kind of things you think with that kind of huge art you are uh, showing us? Can you explain us a little bit about you after the video? Yes. Okay.
En tant qu'artiste, je suis intimement convaincu que l'art peut être un puissant vecteur de communication et que par extension, il peut se mettre au service de l'humain. J'ai inventé un procédé de peinture biodégradable sur herbe qui me permet d'impacter les gens et la société sans impacter la nature. En 2019, je lance un projet d'envergure mondiale Beyond Walls. Et l'idée, c'est de créer symboliquement la plus grande chaîne humaine. La plus grande chaîne humaine au monde. Chaîne humaine au monde. Je crois profondément que c'est ensemble que l'humanité pourra répondre aux différents défis qu'on aura à surmonter. Et l'essence de ce projet, c'est d'inviter les populations à la bienveillance, de faire tomber les barrières géographiques, mentales, sociales, dans un effort commun au-delà des murs. Thank you. Great. <laughs> So, uh, hello everyone, I am very happy to be here. Uh, my English is not so fluid, but as a, a real French, I can say that it, it's horrible, but I will try to express myself a little bit. Uh, first of all, maybe the, the first things I have to say is that I deeply trust that uh, art can serve... This is me? Is it? Okay. I think that art can serve society and create something uh, in, in the reality, you know, like change some lines. Uh, for example, in 2018, I support an association that was called SOS Méditerranée, who rescue people in the Mediterranean Sea. And there was a, a global uh, movement around this project and that bring the Swiss Confederation to, to change some law in the, in, the, in the Swiss laws. So, for me, I saw that art can change some lines in the society, in the brain of the people, but moreover, in, in, in, the, in the deep, in the depth of the, the, the political system. So, I think all the things started with that SOS Mediterranean... Yes, the, the main idea of the project beyond was... By the way, the SOS Mediterranean, maybe we can explain to our guests, is an organization they are uh, working only on the refugees crisis on the yeah. Mediterranean. And everything started with that. I read in a newspaper or something, is all the regrapping hands yes. with that you dedicated the drawing to them. It's quite true, yes. I, I mean, uh, about this project, this is the first time I saw really that we can change the world by making art. Mm. And then, you know, I, I, I see a documentary about the world of Donald Trump. Uh -huh. in, uh, really, and you know, it was like 18 million of dollars to make, to create the wall. And I mean, I, I thought, yeah, it's oh, crazy. it's something like crazy. 100 years of rescuing people in the Tehran Sea. So why don't you use this money to, to, to give for, for social uh, things more than to, to, to close the border? For, for me it was a crazy idea and I start the project Beyond Walls from that. I think it's a kind of United States thing. They, uh, I'm a little bit related with the bees and maybe you know there is a killer bee problem of United States and also they find a solution to make the, the wall. huge wall <laughs> for the, <laughs> protect them outside yes. the United States. But then, you know, I, I, I spoke with a lot of philosophers mm. and other artists and more we, we, we spoke together, more I thought it's like an illusion, you know, to create some walls to, to, to, to make okay. solution. And it was the idea, the main concept of my project, to, to, to think that it's only together that we can respond to the, to the biggest challenge of our time. You know, because we are in a hyper connected world and to think that by closing borders on mm. our mind will be a solution, it's not true. So uh, we have to find, and the, the COVID crisis show for everybody that we are connected together. And so if we have to find a solution, it's only together. And from this idea, 
I thought, okay, we will create the biggest human chain in the world to, to speak about togetherness, kindness, and to an optimistic, optimistic message. This yeah. is the main idea. Yeah, you want to feel everybody, if you want or don't want, you are touching each other, but you have to make it willingly, I think. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and it's also a chance, we are talking about the walls, the, the, one of the uh, steps of that project in East uh, Berlin. Yeah. And the, uh, it's coming just on the third uh, yeah. annual of the wall. Can you explain yeah. us a little bit for the Berlin yes. project? Yes. Uh, I, I, the idea, I start in Paris. Mm. And then I directly knew that this, this is also the first time I think the uh, Eiffel long yeah. allow the artist to do something. Yes, I'll do something not because there was some concert, mm. but to close the Champ Mars, yeah. there's thirty thousand people a day in this place visiting that. Area. Yeah. <laughs> And it was the first place in on, on this earth story that it was closed for two weeks because it was two weeks. Oh, too much. Yeah. And what you, for, for a little story, you know, but when I contact the mayor of Paris for the project, and she, she met me and he thought, she saw that it was only the first part of the Russian Mars. Ah, okay. And I, I thought, <laughs> that, no, no, you have to close everything. She <laughs> fall from Shisha. <laughs> And then I, I, I said, I think the better way to make it happen, and she said, okay, we will do it like that. Okay, but for, for to answer the question about Berlin, uh, you know, I, I, I'm born in a little country uh, close to the border with Germany, and all my grand-grandfather were dead during the Second, second World War. Mm -hmm. say, I would say that, yeah, yeah second, second, World War. second World War. And for me, it, it's not so far. So, 30 years old, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the Second World War was older, but it's not so far and I, I very want to go uh, for the fall the, of the uh, war because it's very symbolic in Europe. Yeah. So it was a great one too. And made a piece next to the wall and... Yes, we do, we do two. Two, yeah. Yes, one in the east, east piece, mm. east uh, part, mm. and one of the no man's land, you know, was uh, before there was the east side and the west um, side, uh, between the two, the both. Combination of the... Yes, okay. so we, we do the no second kidding. one in this place. Uh, I'm really wondering about uh, uh, you are making your paint because it's an biodegradable. You want to be eco-friendly, and you are having a message to. You are trying to convey that message, and you are trying to do on uh, huge areas. But you have to find that by yourself. I think. How did it evolve? <laughs> How did you find? <laughs> Where yes. did it come from? Do you have a chemistry background or? My wife does, but really? <laughs> yes, I but I child. didn't knew knew her before I, I start to paint. I didn't knew her, but uh, when I start to paint on grass, first of all, I start with normal paint just to know if that work. You no, know? mm. and then I I thought, okay, that work, but now I have to find a way to make it eco eco friendly, and then I. I wrote some books and I was like, okay, I have to, to, to, to find, to try a lot of pigments, a lot of receipt. And I, I make one year of research, you know, I, I, I make in the, the garden of my parents yeah, some I, little I square it. and see the evolution <laughs> of the paint over time. And one, one year later, uh, it was done. But it is a central point of my work, you know, to make research about my impacts and uh, for, for optimize the process. For example, at the beginning, it was flour, and I, I cook the flour with water, uh, and that make glue, but it was horrible, you know. A when kind I, of wheat past you did that. Yes, think, huh? exactly. Okay. And then now, for example, this glue, uh, it's casein, this, mm, which is a protein of milk. Yeah. So we are, I'm always looking for new that's incredible to finding casein to put in it. No, because you know it's nobody knows, but it's an ancestral way. Yeah, it's very there's like some um, egg, 
mm. with the, the yellow of the egg, you know. But casein was used from for the milk and a lot of time. And even my pigments too. This is um, carbon, which come from trees, and chalk. But I cool move cool. a little bit the concept, but mm. this is ancestral uh, pigments, in fact. Uh, but this paint has a disadvantage for an artist. Yeah. If you're an artist, you think that all your production stay much more longer than your paints. How did you get used to this idea, this situation? At the beginning, well, uh, the, you know, I wrote a lot of books about Buddhism. <laughs> no, it's true. This is the beginning. Because in Buddhism, you know, you, you have to think all the time that all everything is ephemeral, ephemeral. That's called impermanence. Mm. And you know, to, to want to stop a situation, you will be, you will um, have troubles about that because by sense, by I, I, sorry for my English, but that's not true because everything is changing. Hmm. And that's it's a kind of being in the universe and... Exactly. And I think as a human being, you will leave some trace. And it's the same for my painting. Uh, then my experience showed me that it's very interesting because, for example, some frescoes I did five years ago, when I walk in the street in, in Switzerland, some, some people stop me and say, oh, I remember the fresco you did five years ago. But mm. two weeks after, it yeah, was done. It disappeared, so but... you let a trace in the brain of the, the people, but not a trace on nature. For me, wonderful. Yeah, that's fact. great. And drones also have a huge importance in yes. your job, I think. Yeah. You know, I think it's an influence of a lot of things when you find an idea. And when I start to paint on grass, it was like I wrote books about ecology and Buddhism. I was a graffiti painter, and drone came in Europe that gave me a new point of view from the sky. So for me, it was like uh, new things, and it was like uh, beautiful tools. So I start with drones yeah. too. But just to, to say that I don't draw with a drone. I take just the final picture, you know? As you, you can yeah, see, yeah, I, I, yeah, I work. Yeah, I don't work with the drone. I, just for the, the picture, my final picture. I walk like, as I said, I put some little picks of wood, mm. and that make a ride yeah, on my picture. And, and now I know I know about the scale of the sketch, and uh, I know the scale about on the fresco, and I can know where I am on the ground. It makes your drawings realistic, and you can put in any scale. Yeah. Uh, while I'm stalking you because of that talk, uh, I saw some pictures of Saip in his uh, Instagram, and I say that uh, Saip is a famous artist, and he's putting some uh, photos in his Instagram, and he is working in a very humid, humid uh, studio. Because I saw some win uh, window, pictures of windows, uh, <coughs> fogs on it, and there is a, a landscape behind it. And after a while, I continue to my uh, works uh, stalking you, and I suddenly realized that it all are the real paint. Paint, yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Is there a they are, looks like totally different. Yeah. But it's not, I think. How do you put them together? together? And the photography is much more important in your works, I think. It's a little bit different. In fact, this, this is my story as a painter, you know? And it's a long story. But I start to paint some people in the metro in yeah, black and white, you know? Yeah and to think about what kind of liberty we have, freedom mm. in our society. It's a long story, but then I start to paint this kind of landscape between, uh, yeah, behind the uh, windows of mm. steam. As, uh, you know, it's like, again, impermanence. Like, I, I kept moment in, in time, mm. and I paint moment in time, but very realistic. 
and it's like a travel from the dark, black and white, and the, the rise of, uh, the, of the, the, sun. the sun, and then I'm outside with my long landscapes. Of, it's like traveling mm. for me. And you know, I start by black and white, then sun, sunset, then outside. Go through there this and is use the real sunset yes. for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the idea. Uh, I have a question with the paintings and the combination of with the grass. Mm -hmm. You had one of them in, uh, I can't say the properly the name of that city. Let me check uh, the name. Okadogo. Ogadugu. Ogadugu. Ogadugu. Ogadugu. Burkina Faso. It's not Burkina Faso, yeah. It's on the uh, sand, I think, huh? Kind of. Kind of. Sand. Kind of, yes. Is there differences between working on sand and the grass? Because I thought those are much more uh, details, had details in Ogadugu, but a little bit different from the others. Yes. It's a kind of technical question, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I think one, another central point of my work mm. is to adapt myself everywhere, because each each kind of grass is different. If ca yeah. each, each kind of ground is different. And when, when I arrived in Burkina Faso, it was sand. And I was, oh, how I will paint on that because that move. And as you saw, ah, I have to walk. The wind or yes, the wind, when I paint, that move. When I walk, that mm. move too. The grass don't move. You know, I can walk a little <laughs> bit. No, it's true. I can move a little bit. Uh, I, I can walk a little bit on my fresco. And in Burkina Faso, it was horrible. And if I walk on the dark, we can see all my step, you know? No. So I adapt myself to paint from the top. Uh, come from the till the yeah, end. Exactly, to don't finish, walk on the first yeah. work. Yeah. And the particular, exactly as you said, that the paint was reacting differently mm. on the sand from, that, from the, the grass. grass that's yeah. why you, you see more details and this kind of things. Ah, that's strange. <laughs> I try now to paint on the snow. Really? Yes. For with, one year, I'm starting with, that, with the same uh, paint. paint. Yes, I don't but use white. You don't need white. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, I know you used to be a nurse. Yeah. And is there also a journey for you, like your art, as you mentioned before, coming from the black and white uh, metro paintings, uh, paintings on. Uh, in the studio and under the sun. Uh, there's also a, another journey. You, you are a nurse and you started to make it together. And then you quit your job and became an artist. Full time artist. <laughs> and world size uh, yes. famous. What is Can you tell about a little bit about <laughs> that journey? It's, it's also um, strange for us to hear. Okay, when I was 18, I would like to travel all over the world and make bands, blah, blah, blah. And my mom said, okay, find a real you job. You need a job. <laughs> yes, then do what you want. <laughs> and for me, it was very helpful. And I'm very grateful about that because when I start to, to, to paint, I didn't f um, uh, need money because I was a nurse. Mm. And you know, when you start to work with art gallery, for example, you don't need them. It's you, you have a lot of freedom about your, what you do as an artist. And moreover, you know, when you are 18 and you, you, you are confronted to the, the, the death, you all change your mind, your, your, your perception about life. You know, like, uh -huh. okay, I will die. Uh, and? Oh, what is my meaning in my, uh, as a human being? You know, it's that, that moves everything in your brain. And th I think now, I'm always thinking about that. What, what will be my trace uh, as a human? You want to catch the real side, I think. Yes. Huh? <laughs> Doing art, of course. I don't know. <laughs> it's also helping people. Yes, that's Definitely why I Definitely much find, more than, yeah. and your effect on the universe is higher than being a nurse. I don't know if it's yeah, higher, that, but... Definitely, definitely. That gives me a meaning in what I do. But just like another 
short story, but you know, when I, I, I, uh, I was a nurse, I was stressful to, uh, how do you say that, uh, uh, to put out my job, to leave my job, you know. Mm. I was stressful about that because it's hard to be an artist, you know, you don't know what is, what will happen tomorrow. Yeah. And my wife told me, okay, no child, no responsibilities, it's the moment of never. So mm. I, I, I leave my job four years ago now. She said this is the right time. Right moment. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> now this is the eighth step of your uh, Beyond Wall. Uh, the, what is the differences between being in Istanbul and the other cities? Is there anything that is differentiating from the others? Oh, yes, a lot. A lot. Yeah. But I love the... Uh, Foods. The food. Like yeah, everything. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, no, the Turkish culture. I love the, cult the, the Turkish culture. And for me it was like a dream to come here because it is the on, only city in the world which is made on two continents. On yeah. the only one, yeah. the world. And moreover, it's, it's the bridge between uh, the, the uh, Europe a and, Asian and, and Asia. You know, this is a confluence of so many story in the, many, the humanity, yeah. the story yeah. of humanity. So I'm, it's an honor for me to be here, for sure. Yeah, that's great. Um, do you? I think you are going to continue that till to the thir thirty I hope countries. So. Huh? I hope. I, I hope so. so. Uh, what is the most important cities? Do you think to do in your schedule the next one or the a years later? Or in fact, I think you have a schedule for them. Yeah, I have. But in, in fact, I, I hope that there was yeah, there will not more that. Other, you know, I mean, I, I hope that they are all at the equal uh, scale, scale or importance. Equal. Yeah. Mm. But uh, each each part of my project, I, I have I looking for real meaning. You know, if here, for example, it was to to, to make the bridge between uh. Europe and Asia. For example, then we will go to South Africa because mm. it was like a story about uh, apartheid and this kind of problematics and still now yeah, a lot definitely. of problems with white and black, blah, blah, blah. So I, I think it's a beautiful meaning to go here. Then we will go to Benin, Benin mm. because it was uh, an art story about, uh, I don't know the word in English. Tu sais toute la période colonial, colonial. Uh, the end of the colonial. Yes, ah. exactly. Colonial story, you know, it was an yeah. art story, so we, I have to go here. And then we will go to Belfast mm. in Ireland, North Ireland, because there is 30 years old of civil war, you know, between Catholic and Protestant. And there is a lot of wall in the city. So we will go here. And then we will start to, f to work from the Asia side now, I think. Yeah, that, that's great. All the countries, all the way to go. But uh, I'm also wondering about to organize them. Yeah. <laughs> It's, I think, incredible. You need a huge amount of people helping you. Uh, can you a little bit... Uh, give some information about the organization, what's your role in that? Are you only the painter or the finding the cities or total organization? Yeah. The, for example, the particular, the particular of the Beyond Wars project is that I, I wonder where I want to go. So mm -hmm. it's my own decision. You like, yeah. I want to go there. Yeah, you are choosing the yes, every, cities. Yes. So, When I know where I want to go... Yes, I think the most difficult part is to find a new uh, contact. The contact for it. But still. that become more and more easier because, you uh, know, because you are yes, we made a lot of links, 
I work Maybe they are going to invite you. Yeah, sometime. For example, Bruxelles in Europe, mm. they tell me it's, it's one year, so they want to... It's easy to do that in Europe, I think. In Europe for us, <laughs> it's easy. But you know, uh, I have to say that more uh, the, the, the biggest part of this project is self-financial. You know, like, uh, for example, here, I don't win money with this, pro this kind of project. Mm. So it, uh, I've got a lot of help so about, about me. That, yeah, for example, idea, yeah. this is a Swiss embassy who helped me for the photographer, brave photographer. Mm. Uh, there is the uh, Institut Francais who helped me, for example, for the flight tickets. Uh, there is EBB who help us for the logistics in place. Mm. There is UPS. Accommodation who, and logistics. Yeah, and exactly. Sand, yeah. UPS help us for the logistics, but I don't win any money with this kind of project. And for example, in Africa, it was 100% self financed. Finance, really? Yes, yeah, that's, 100%. That's one, that's one. So uh, then with, uh, we work with the embassy, with my contact, with everything to find a contact when I want to go. One place, I will find a, a people will help us. <laughs> that's that's. Good. Uh, I know you are not in much more uh, inside of the street art and graffiti scene, but you know lots of people. And what's who is your favorite street artist or graffiti artist, and why you think that? <laughs> Except me. Okay, except you. Yeah, so it's too easy, you know. <laughs> um, graffiti artists, uh, you know, I love for sure everybody in Obongsi because I think it's one of the most important person in graffiti scene mm -hmm. because you know he bring all the generation up with a, a lot of project and this kind of things, I think. Like the attention of the whole yes, the world. Yes, about graffiti. So this kind of person bring everybody up, mm -hmm. I think. I love the work of GR. Yeah. Right. For sure, because I think we have some... You know, he used to hear, did some... Uh, yeah, sure, you know, in, like, And Vils, you know Vils? Yeah. These guys who put yeah, with of course, of course. amazing guys. So this is this kind of influence that I have. <laughs> <gülüyor> That's great. Ee, now, e, şimdi biraz özel bir soru soracağım. Ee, Dead Paris Turkish soruyu. Ee, eminim ki bu soruyu dünya üzerinde hani bizim dışımızda başka kimse sormaz. Ee, ve Türkçe soracağım tabii. En sevdiğin Türk yemekleri ve favori Türk şarkıcısı? Belki çok ben İskender Kebap çok seviyorum. Çok güzel. Evet, değil mi? Evet, çok güzel. Ben de severim. Ee, baklava, künefe. Gaziantep'ten baklava. Evet, Gazi Gaziantep geliyor. Evet. Ama Bacanayim Gazan çok yakın Gaziantep'den geliyor. Evet. Ondan e, belki künefe çok Künef seviyorum. O da Ama güzel. beyaz peynir rakile Oo. olabilir. Bu da müthiş. <gülüyor> Şarkıcı, bir favori şarkıcın. Öf. Biliyorum uh, Haluk Levan biliyorum en seviyorum hem de Koray Avcı. Oo. Çünkü <gülüyor> biliyorsun. Bir gittikçe ilginç ne şey oldu değil mi? Evet. You know, Cidus. I've got a real story about about him because you know. Uh, Koray Avcı. Yes, about Koray Avcı. Çünkü yes, bir art so strange. Yes. Really? Yeah. Because yeah. this is been uh, very markadaşım. Really? Yes. I think he told you speaking Turkish and yes. Iraq and... and then Turkish. I spoke... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm Turk. Ne zaman, how do you say that, uh, my uh, birthday, you know, she gave me a, a CD of Koray Avcı. Ah. Çok beğendim. Doğum günü ediyorsun. Çok beğendim. Her zaman Koray Avcı uh, dinledim, you know. And one time I go to my studio and I put like a story with uh, I tag Koray Avcı and one one hour later he follow me on Instagram. Really? Really. And I, he, he told me, wow, you are doing so, what, what the fuck, what is your job, man? <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> so then, it's true, six months later, I was in Istanbul and I saw that he make a concert at Kadakoy. Yeah. And you, I, you visited. Yes, him, uh, I said I am Istanbul, and he told me, "Yes, come, come." Okay, I come, <laughs> and then 
At the beginning of the concert, he said, Oh, I've got my friend in Switzerland. He's here for peace and blah, blah, blah. I was shocked, <laughs> like, okay, I don't know you, man. And then his assistant came and said, Okay, really want to, to, to pass time with you. So tomorrow night, uh, have a seat with you. And then the, the tomorrow we will together. And he spent all the night with, with us. And we drink a lot of... Rocky. <laughs> yes. And I was sick for one day. Start. That, that's so great. I got a, like a link with these guys and I love this song. So yes, that's it. That's a great story. Ama ma benim Türkçe çok kötü. Kusura bakmayın. Ne zaman another little story, you know? Ne zaman kain baba? Yeah. Benim kızın istiyorum. Ama Fransızım. You have to say first Allah'ın emri. If you say that, that's okay. You Ama önce say. bilmiyordum ben. Yeah. <gülüyor> Ama dedi, tamam. Ama şimdi Türk Türk şey öğretmem lazım. Sonra kızın vereceğim. Really? Sonra öğrettim. Bir yıl sonra gideceğim. Dedim şimdi biraz Türk şey biliyorum. O zaman kızım veriyorum dedi. Doğru. Evet, bravo. <gülüyor> Now all the questions on my side. That's all. Uh, now we can take the questions from the uh, visitors. Ee, sorularınızı alabiliriz. Gördüğünüz biraz hani Türkçe de olabilir, İngilizce de olabilir. Mikrofonlarımız var oralarda. Onlar sabit. You can ask your questions from that microphone if you uh, want to ask questions to Saip. No question. Please come on. I think I... <laughs> yes. Uh, welcome again to Turkey. And I just wondered that what's your biggest dream? What, what do you want to achieve after that? <laughs> Change the world. Now, <laughs> uh, you mean uh, as a location, for example? No, what do you want to do after? As an artist, I think. Uh. Yes, as an artist. Yes, you know, I think our generation, we are young and we, are to, we have to to go against, I mean, uh, or to go uh, in an optimist direction and to, to fight uh, for this kind of idea, you know, like, I deeply trust we have to be together uh, to, uh, to take care about Earth and it's our responsibility, you know, if our ancestors do not, we have to do like that. And as an artist, I, I start. I, I hope that we will go in this direction. So uh, I hope that we. I give. I will put a, a little uh, brick, a brick in the wall of a beautiful world. A brick, A brick. You know. Ah, brick. Brick. Yeah. You know, in the wall of a beautiful world. This is my dream, in fact. But this is a little contribution. <laughs> Welcome. Yes. Biraz ama yükseltebilirsen sesi. He is an art teacher. Did you do any? Pictures there, a, ma a, a person who's holding his own hands. No, no, no. It's, I, I think it's not a. a the idea uh, is that yes, two different but, persons and. Uh, the, the main concept too is you know we we've got uh, on the, on our road uh, everybody we, we met we do the the picture together like we create real link between people and for me it's something very uh, <laughs> comic. Uh, because uh, sometime I paint some very famous people, just close to not famous people. For example, mm. I met George Federer, which is a uh, real famous guy in tennis. And just close to these guys, I paint some dealer, you know, in the street. We met in Berlin. So, but when, when we take picture, we cut here. Yeah. And then normally we don't know 
This where, is the federal. Yes, it's further away on nobody. So, for example, I met a lot of black people in Berlin, and I, when I went in Africa, I met some black people, but we, did, nah, we yeah, didn't know. Thinking that it's, we didn't know. Yeah. So, to, to speak about uh, universality, you know, like how many pictures do you have of the re grabbing hands? I didn't see people. Understand. What? How how many? Pictures two, do two, you have? two thousand about two thousand. now. But if somebody wants to take picture with us together, mm -hmm. it's not the good time to do it because you know we're yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, But normally we try to to to do every every mm -hmm. time everywhere with every culture, and this is the main idea of the project. It's okay. great building in Burkina Faso. It was amazing because, for example, um, I was with the. The wife of the president of Burkina Faso, she, she come to see the artwork, and at the same time, if there was 300 people, we make a surprise for us from the street, and to come with bike, and they put them light on the fresco to make a picture, and we were 300 people Ooh, around the fresco, and you know then all were mixed, you know, like the president, the ministry, and everybody around the project, and this is the main idea that we. The, the project have to be a support to create real link. Mm -hmm. Here, for example, the Swiss conference, the Swiss embassy, create real link between uh, Institut Français, yeah. the municipality of Besiktas, this kind of things. I, I think that can create real link between people. Art. Yeah. Uh, yani çok kısa söyleyebilirim yani buradaki temel fikir zaten insanların birbirine dokunması farklı kişilerin hatta birbirini tanımayan çünkü dünyamız öyle oldukça daha doğru iyi bir yere doğru gider bütün hikaye onun üzerine kurulu yani kendi kendine değil de gibi bir şey bu kısaca özetleyebilirim siz Hello, welcome again. Uh, Juste Benal, tu peux me faire la traduction en français que je puisse vraiment ce qu'elle a dit, que je dise pas de conneries. In French, yeah. T'as compris? Karşına işte politika ile ilgili bir şeyler çıktı mı bunları yaparken ne kadar bunda şey oldun kuralları koyanlarla değil mi kısaca böyle özetleyebiliriz? Et au sol banane, non more lies que ce n'est pas. Non more lies, and was a little bit touching to the political side, and it was getting this more. You know, I always said that I I make art and I I speak about social things, but in you know it's close to politics because for example I have to find a place and I have to, to work with politician people to get the authorization. So sometimes but I I always said that I don't make any politics because it's not my job. You know, I speak about humanity, social things and it's not a side of my work but I have to, to work with in fact. I never I've, I, I never got troubles with, with politics. Sometimes I were invited to some place that I didn't go because it, for me it's too politic, uh, po politically involved. Mm -hmm. So, but it's too politically involved. I said no. I don't want to to to to, to be involved. They want to use you as their political yes. propaganda or something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I always. Uh, you have be, to be careful. About be careful about that. Exactly. So, uh, and I, you know, I don't want to be between uh, some problems, war between this country and this kind of things. I have to speak about humanity, togetherness, and you know, 
I don't make politics, any politics. This is how I try to do. I don't say that I will never happen. And for example, another example, I would like to go in China. And you know that if you go in some place, it will be hard to go in China. So I have to think about how I will travel and to make my worldwide project. So I have to think about this kind of things and to make Swiss. And that uh, I don't, I don't like to say that I make politics. Mm. Okay. Thank you. I, I won, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. my English is very hard. <laughs> I'm sure you're familiar with the Nazca lines in Peru, right? The Geodes. Uh, in Peru? Yeah, yeah. Peru. Those huge tributes to the gods that they had in Nazca. Ah, yes. Now, was that an inspiration for your work? Or do you think it's similar, a continuation of that tradition in some way? Uh, in some way, I think so. But to be honest, I didn't know Nazca before to start my work. and. Uh, this is one friends who spoke about that, and I, when I saw, I think you know, in, in, there is a, a side of my work which is a little bit spiritual, and you know, in Nazca, they make some work to make this drawing, the huge drawing. I think there is kind of, it's a kind of, and a lot, a lot of people. Uh, you know, there was um, the Tibetan. I, I don't know the word. Is they do some drawing with sand. Mm. This is one month. Of work and then they put it over just to think about impermanence. A lot of people compare me to, to, to this kind of project because, for example, for Istanbul, this is one year of work. It is one year of work. We are working a lot because there's a lot of people in, you know, involved in this kind of project. And then you stay one week, you leave, and you let it go. So it's, this is kind of, I think, but it was not an inspiration for me, but I think we can find some comparison, I think. Thanks. Yeah. Hi. Um, I have seen previously that most of the artists are using the nature itself as a media for their artwork, such as huge fields of great trees and roots of them, etc., to give a message for the preservation of nature and blah blah. Do you have any interaction with that to create such a lovely idea be to communicate it for the huge world? Not yet, but it could be a great idea. Do <laughs> you then have any interaction to start with your work before, huh? No. No. Okay, thank you. Not that much. If, if I took a picture of my... Yeah. I didn't hear well. Are you taking the pic pictures of your work by yourself or...? Ah, oh, it's a good question, yeah. Uh, before, yes. But, uh, f you know, it, in fact, we are a real close team. This is my childhood friends. We are three guys, and I'm the only to pen, but the one guy was preparing the pen with the natural pigments. There's one guy who make video and uh, logistic stuff, and the last one is a photographer. And uh, it's very interesting because it's a link between two kind of art, you know, my art as a painter and the, the art of the photographer. So before to paint, sometimes we speak about the light, uh, if there's some arrangement to do, yeah. and then we, we work together every time, but there is one photographer and me, I'm painting. And you, ha you are going to put that on a ge geographical shape and yeah. you have to take the right angle. Yeah. That's an other professional lighting. Yeah? Sure, it is. We, we use a, a, a huge angle, you know, mm -hmm. to, to know, uh, to, to, to take the picture, because if you take it from there, that deform the, the, the, the fresco, so we have to be there, but to see it's the... Totally yes. different thing. Yeah, I, sometime I did some anamorphosic work, you know, like you have one point of view, do you know that this yeah. technique? Yeah. And you can see the, the artwork from mm -hmm. only from this point of view, but yeah. it's like real, it's very interesting technique. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, one of them, your frescoes made, uh, you made your grandfather, Picture, eh? 
Yeah, how do uh, you know that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> because it's a secret book. <laughs> I'm an inside trader. Go camp in then. Yes. <laughs> no, it's a secret book. It's no problem. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. No, problem. no it's, I'm joking, you know. Yeah. Uh, I know everyone is authentic and uh, everyone gets different meanings from what you create. But if you want to create one impact over people with your art, what would that be and why? Good question. <laughs> you have a minute? One minute? Yeah, one minute. <laughs> It's, it's an odd one, you know, because uh, there's one part where I'm more involved about ecology and one side where I'm more, more involved for social uh, things. And I have to say that for ecology, for, for, for me, uh, you know, it's just to say that we can do th something without uh, hurting the, the nature, you know. This is like the idea, but I always say that I, I have not, I, I, I, I don't have any impact because you know I'm traveling from Europe to come here, uh, but we, we always try to minimize the, the impact on nature, on this kind of thing. Then, on the people, this is the main idea of my project, just to, to, to understand that it's only together that we can just find a solution. And if we, I can move some line, the brain of the people, my bet will be successful. Just that. Yeah, tell. <laughs> uh, yeah. I welcome you with my whole heart. And, and uh, my question is actually in all social sciences, and actually in literature and in uh, art. The artists want to shape the world, not vice versa. But I believe that maybe the world shapes the artist, and the result of your uh, project is this one. What do you think about it? Very much. It's a project that has impacted the science. It's the life that you know, I. I'm 100% uh, agree with you because I think uh, you, all your influence comes from outside, you know, like your, your own containers, what you uh, meet in your life, what's happening to your parents, everything. So for, for sure, I'm, I'm like, for, for me, I'm always thinking that a lot of people make me like, uh, you know, an honor to, to be there, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I'm lucky about life, and I think I were influenced by all things that not depends from me. So it's very strange to think that, okay, I'm, I do something, but you know, it's come from all my influence and all what I live in my life. So I think I'm more influenced by uh, what I live every time than what I'm in my soul, in fact. Did I answer to your question or not? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> yes. right. uh, in general, uh, I may have difficulties when, when, I, when I try to speak English. Yes, me too, as you saw. <laughs> you can make Turkish and I she can. Turkish. Yeah, okay. So, uh, in general, in all artists want to shape the world, and as your project, you want to make, make society together, right? Yeah. This is your goal. But I do believe that not the, not the, the, the project uh, does not shape the world how, how it wants to shape it. Instead of that, uh, the, the, the project is being shaped by the, by the way of the world. So maybe your project has no goal, but it is, it is the uh, outcome, outcome of the world. I think I get the idea. You are trying to say that if the world is not like that, you are not going to do exactly. that kind of art. That's why it's shaping your art also. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
shooters. Shooters. As I said at the beginning, you know, this is when I saw a documentary about the, the, the world of Trump, that I think, okay, it, but it's crazy to, to, to give so much money to create a wall. And I thought, in fact, you know, if he gives this money to the Mexican people, they will not come again. So, uh, for sure, it is because the world is polarizing and that the world is more and more closed in on themselves that I want to share this idea because, as I said too, you know, my, my grand-grandfather would die in deportation du during the Second World War and I, for me it's not so far and I think I'm afraid that when I speak with some friends and they are, uh, we are speaking on closing the border and said, okay, we are in France, we don't want the other people, but, you know, when I worked with SOS Mediterranean, I thought, you know, nobody wants to leave from his house, you know. You have to, to, to, to, to go from your culture, your parents, everything. You lose everything when you live. Nobody wants that, you know. So we know that it's hard, you know. When, the, for example, migrants come uh, in Europe, we know that it's uh, hard to uh, make it like uh, a synergy between the migrants, the, the, the people we're living for one hundred euros here, but I think we have to understand too that they are leaving the country because they have to. But to answer your question, for sure this is because the world is like that, I think I, I want to share another perspective, in fact. I have answered your question. <laughs> Sorry. I think you had a question or? No. You? Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, what were the, some of the lessons you learned uh, while you traveled all of these countries and cities? Like, what did change your perspective on our problem? <laughs> One thing, I now I cut my TV on the, on, the, on the evening because, for example, one for me beautiful example, you know when I. I wanted to go to Burkina Faso. In, so now it's a dangerous country, in fact, because there is one a week there was uh, some uh, attentat. How do you say an attentat? Guerrilla. Yes, the terrorist ah, terrorism. attack. Terrorist attack. attack. You know, there's a lot of troubles and a lot of pro troubles with security in the country. And when I decided to go. Maybe 100 people call me, ah, it's not a good moment, you will be killed, blah, blah, blah. And one, one time I hesitate to go, you know, I was like, okay, everybody that I, go, I, I called in Burkina Faso told me, no, if you stay with us, no problem. But you know, don't have to go outside of Ouagadougou, which is the capital of Burkina Faso. But when you go on place, this is one of my favorite experience as a human being, you know, because the people were amazing, so warm, and from us it was, I think, one of the, my best experience as a human being, and I thought, again, uh, we have to put our wall, uh, get it out, you know, of our brain, sometimes we are afraid, because everybody speaks about something, but not so many people know what's happening uh, in, in the truth, in fact. So for me, more I, more I, more I'm, on tra I'm traveling, more and more I try to be open-minded. This is my, what I learned, in fact. But I didn't learn a lot of things, but this one I think a little bit. I, know I lived in Switzerland, which is one of the richest country in the world. And securest. Yes. Area, maybe it's amazing, area. you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we have uh, my wife, my wife, which is from Turkey, told me every time, you know, this is uh, occidental problems. Mm. Like, you know, we are stressful for nothing, blah, blah, blah. And uh, when you travel, you, you can see other way of living. And for me, it's very interesting to learn from a little bit everywhere. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I think that's all, huh? Uh, before, before we finish, I would like to uh, thanks to you.
on behalf of our uh, uh, visitors uh, because you made uh, made us to realize the values on, and the real human inside us and our responsibilities with an amazing way. That's thank I you. thank it's too you. Much thank you for me. Yeah, no, no, it's it's <laughs> a reality, and the way of you are doing that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.